We gon' never ever change up. Money, 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 money team. 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 Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video for you guys. And today guys, I actually have some Madden 18 information as well. This is all coming from Twitter guys, so this is going to be kind of a, an interesting video from some of the guys that actually work on the Madden team that is, itself. Uh, first one is from Mutt Guru Mike McFadden, you guys probably know him over on Twitter. He revealed the new Rookie Premier Miles Garrett card today, 99 overall. Very, very nice card if you guys want to use that for Madden 17. 17, but he actually also included something that's even more interesting, which is a kind of a little bit of a preview for Madden 18. We're going to go go take a look at the card art for the Madden 18 uh, rookie premier players, at least. So we'll get into that a little bit. But first things first, let's take a look at this Miles Garrett card, guys. It is 99 overall. Of course, a member of the Cleveland Browns. Uh, it does have 87 speed, 94 for a block shed, 96 power move, and an 87 finesse move. So very, very nice in both of the pass rushing moves, which is always a good thing. Great acceleration, of course. Tackling is very, very good. Play recognition is solid as well. So definitely overall, one of the better defensive ends that they have currently in the game. Probably going to be one of the better ones for the rest of the game, to be honest with you, considering we're really, really starting to tick down on Madden 17 as we start to look forward to Madden 18, which is about a month and a week away. So let's take a look here at the new information that we got. This was also included in that tweet, again, from Mutt Guru. And this is a closer look, guys, at the uh, the new players for next year. So you see that up there in the top right-hand corner, we do have a better look at the Madden 18 card art. This does say Rookie Premier. It's not very good quality because it's a Twitter picture and I had to zoom in on it. I apologize, but you guys can get kind of the general gist of it anyway. And the big thing here, guys, is that the border of it is light blue or kind of like a turquoise-ish color, I guess. But the big thing here is this is not just going to be standard elite gold, silver, and bronze this year. We're going back to the days that they had before. I believe it was Madden 25 the last time that they had kind of like the special card art, at least on the borders. Like we used to have like fantasy cards and things like that that were green. Um, and we had your legends were blue, things like that, right? And then you obviously had your base elite cards and your elites throughout the programs and things like that that were red. And we still had gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, but the cool thing was is that some of these cards, when they popped open, it was nice to see, oh, I got a, a you know, a... A purple card or something like that that was the playoff card so definitely cool to see that that is coming back I think that's going to be a nice something that people have been kind of asking for I don't really understand why they ever went away from that to be completely honest with you maybe it was just a little bit more difficult on the graphic designers but as a graphic designer I know that they just pretty much take a template and edit the template so I don't understand why it would be much more difficult for them but Anyway, guys, uh, let's take a look then at another bit of information that came out today. And this is actually coming from Jake Stein, who is an associate developer on Madden Ultimate Team itself. Uh, so, guys, this is probably one of the bigger things that we've seen recently. Now, someone asked uh, Deshaun Watson, why is he basically only a 69 overall? That's kind of what they said. Um and basically what he responded is, this is a small example of how we really adjusted our player overall formula for next year. It will take more individual rating increases to increment the overall. So basically, as far as I'm understanding this, he's saying that uh, overall is not going to be as easy to achieve. Now, what does that really mean? Not a whole lot. Basically what it means is that there are going to be not as many cards that are 99 overall is basically what I'm understanding. Our players are going to start off lower overall um, because as of as of right now, you guys know, there are 99 overall players in the game that are kind of like a low 99 overall. And then we have some ones that are a super ridiculously overpowered 99 overall. So basically, I think what he's getting at here is that the players are going to start generally a little bit lower overall this year and that way that'll give them a little bit more room to build it up and then towards the end of the year we'll have more of these 99 overall players or when the 99 overall players come out it'll be a little bit more special right we won't have all these random players having 99 overalls like Jared Goff and you know jabronis like that it makes no sense to have those guys be 99 overalls 
uh, when you don't have other players as 99 overalls. But uh, anyway, I think that's one of the cool things. Now, he did also put out another tweet, and this one I think is very interesting as well. This is in regards to the actual Rookie Premier program. If you guys don't know, um, the Rookie Premier program is going to translate into Madden 18. So you're going to be able to choose one of the 10 players that are currently available on the game. And basically what you're going to be able to do is take those players into Madden 18. And any time that those players get an upgrade, that is going to uh, like a, a new card or something like that. Let's say they are a team of the week player, a football outsiders or something like that. We saw this in Madden 17. They, they implemented this where those rookie cards, the rookie premier ones, would actually increase along with those. So definitely a cool feature. Now, the other thing is that there are probably going to be other uh, programs that will increase the overall of these rookie premier players. And the reason I say that is because he also did indicate that these are going to go until January. So the players will actually continue to upgrade all the way through January, which is interesting because the NFL season, other than the playoffs, is pretty much over by then. So again, I don't want to like say that this is confirmed or anything like that, but based on the fact that they're saying that the increases will continue until January, I think it's important that we keep that in mind because again, there are going to be a lot of programs that go in until January. So hopefully they get the feedback that we had last year, which was it's BS that it's only football outsiders and team of the week. But anyway, guys, uh, that is a quick update for you. Again, these 10 players are the only ones that are going to be able to be rookie premier players, which I want to hear your guys' opinion on that. I think it's a little bit disappointing because, you know, why not make it so that all the players are available? I guess maybe because they don't utilize upgrading offensive line very much or things like that defensive tackles um you know some of these positions I, I don't understand it I mean at least the first round I would think they would be able to make rookie premier players for but maybe there's some reason why they're not doing it I don't know but you guys got to let me know in the comments section below first of all which rookie premier player are you going to create and which one are you going to try and upgrade it and uh obviously if you can get more than one of them Go ahead and do that but let me know in the comment section below what one are you most excited for and also guys what do you think about the general program coming back are you excited for it and also last thing what do you think about the new madden 18 card art i'm not sure on it yet to be honest with you i'm gonna have to see it in a larger picture um I, I don't think it's terrible, but it's a little bit weird. I think the, the shaping on the card is a little bit weird. I mean, it's cool that they're going back to like that die cut look to it that we've had in previous years, but um, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it necessarily at this first glance. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.